in trying to investigate the question, will two motors, either brushless outrunners or inrunners, run off a single ESC? So my test is going to consist of a number of different combinations. In each case, the brushless motors will be identical. So we'll be starting out with two Turnigy brushless motors into a 35 amp Sea King ESC. The Sea King ESC will also be used to power two of modest size outrunner motors. Then I'll use the larger 180 Seeking uh, ESC to power two 540XLs, again the same KV. And the final test will be using the Seeking on two Leopard 4074 motors, each with 2200 KV. I should tell you beforehand that in all cases the test worked uh, perfectly. It had no glitches, no problems. The motor speed appeared to be constant, although I didn't have an eagle tree onto it. But I must limit you, or caution you, that the ESC has got to be rated now for both motors, not only a single motor. And at least in my lab test, no load test, the results were very promising. Here are the tests. In this test sequence, I'll be using two modest size brushless motors. They're into my Y connectors, servo controller. In this case, I have a Seeking 35 amp ESC into a small three cell LiPo pack. So using my controller, both of the motors start together and appear to have the same RPM. In this next test, I'll use two 540XL motors, each rated at 2075 kV, into a Seeking 180 single ESC controller, 4 cell 5000 milliamp hour pack, and my servo controller again. Both motors start exactly at the same time and appear to run at the same RPM. I don't have an eagle tree on each one of them, but from the sound of it, they are in sequence, and the control has no problem. In this last test sequence, I have a 4 cell 5000 milliamp hour battery. I have a Seeking 180 ESC. You can see my Y connections into two Leopard motors, 4074s, each of them with 2200 kV. It's going into my little servo eliminator. I've put some orange tape at the front of the shafts and so what I'll do is I'll control this you can see the two motors start in sequence okay. this is a no load test but they sync up well they start well and it appears when he can't control them provided that the load is not greater than the 180 amp draw from the ESC.